you're someone who gets e easily attached to people or situations, or you're someone who's got an anxious attachment style, then cultivating the art of detachment can be crucial for you in order for you to be more happy and fulfilled in yourself. For me, until I understood what real detachment meant, my mood, my happiness, my entire life and decision making and the direction that my life was going depended on other people and the situations that I was getting myself into and the people that I was coming across. Because when you have this anxious attachment style or are easily attached to people and start depending on it, then you give off this sort of desperate energy and that never attracts someone healthy or fulfilled or someone who will really give you what you want because you're not really going by your standards or what you really deserve. You're going by the act of desperation or wanting to just attach yourself to things because something is clearly missing here with you. And so you're putting it out there on someone or something else. If you haven't been to my page, welcome. I'm Hamasa. I look at mental um, and emotional well-being, um, personal development, as well as day-to-day -day issues. Please do subscribe to my page so that you're up to date with my content. Detachment is incredibly important for us for so many reasons. I don't even know where to begin because first of all, it's what holds us stagnant in rotten relationships and situations is the one most single thing that really stops you from moving on because sometimes people fall out of love but it's the attachment that keeps them there because they fall under this habit of depending their mood their happiness what they do with themselves um, their likes and dislikes on this other person and when that happens the person on the receiving end can always tell when you are now parading and dancing around in their circus because it's very easy to see when someone starts trying to be liked and they're attached to you so whatever you say goes um, i'm sure you've been in that situation yourself when you've been on the other side where someone else has been attached to you or you could see how someone's really taken and so they start losing themselves. And the minute they start losing themselves, you start losing respect for them. It may not necessarily mean that you dislike them. It just means that you start seeing that, you know what, no matter what I do and whatever I throw at this person, they're not gonna go anywhere because they really like me. So I don't need to consider them that much. I mean, it's not like they're gonna leave, is it? Complacency. So imagine now you're the one who gets attached easily and you've let this person know that everything that you do is they're the center of your universe. You're doing it to please them, to be more liked by them, to get noticed by them. If they like cake, you like cake. If they like the color blue and you don't, but you start liking the color blue, you start dressing more in the color blue, they will pick up on that. And Though sometimes in certain situations you may come across cute, in psychology, the essence of really a true meaning of attraction is when that person is 100% themselves. That's what people find the most attractive or energetically, psychologically, that's what you're drawn to. When you see someone be very, very authentically themselves, unapolog unapologetically. Because if that person truly likes you for you, they're gonna adore that about you. And if they don't, then it's better that they see the real you pretty early on and not waste their time or yours so that your attachment doesn't develop and then you're devastated when they leave. So by being yourself and not attaching your mood and happiness and likes and things on someone else, staying true in your own self, understanding that you are a whole by yourself, no one can take that away from you. You will actually attract the right kind of people to you and you will be so much more fulfilled and happy. Because let's look at what attachment is. Attachment is wanting to control and like basing yourself on this person. And the reason you base yourself is because you really wanna control the outcome. Anxious attachment comes from that. The anxiety of wanting to have to understand 
what the outcome of the situation will be, having control over the ending, not enjoying the moment, not going with the flow, but continuously worrying about what's going to happen, what's next, what the future holds, and wanting to control this person and the situation the direction is taking. By controlling this person, meaning trying to change their habits, trying to fix them, trying to tell them what to do all the time, trying to go through their phone, trying to see what they're, who they're talking to, checking up on them, wanting to know where they are, things like that is all what you wanting to control this person because you've based so much of your being and happiness and existence on them that without them you would feel like you will crumble and fall apart and you cannot afford to lose them or ruin the situation or it going wrong. So you start being controlling. And what you do, you will push that person away. And what will that do to you? You will fall apart because you're basing everything on this one person. So what's way around this? Way around this is, like I said, understanding that you are a whole by yourself. You are the entire full meal, starter, main and dessert. And whatever else comes along, be it a person, a situation, a job, hobby, holiday, it's the icing on your cake, on your dessert, it's the little cherry. And if it's there, it's wonderful, you'll enjoy it. And if it's not, it's still okay because you are the whole meal. And there's nothing that you lack or that you need from anyone else to make you feel that. So get to know yourself. Because again, when you attaching yourself and your likes and things on someone else, then you don't know what you like. You're just going along, you're floating, you're like a log in the ocean. You're just coasting along. And whoever comes along, be it a friend, a spouse, whatever, whatever they are, you're gonna start being that. You're gonna start liking the things they like and you don't know yourself. Hence why you feel so lost without someone that you've attached yourself to. Who am I if they're not here? What's my story? How do you get, and how do you get to that? The way to get to that is all the usual stuff that I always say to you guys, which is meditating, journaling, reflecting, because it's again, comes down to self-worth, self-acceptance, self-awareness, and then you know that, no, if you like the color blue, that's amazing, but I don't suit blue. I've got one color, skin tone, I suit orange. And I'm gonna show you how good I look in orange. That people respect more and that makes you be wholesome and understand that regardless of this person coming into your life or leaving, you're still fine. There is nothing that they can take away from you. And if they add, it's great, but if they're not adding, they don't need to be in that, your vicinity, in your energy, in your, around you. I always, I realize this now, and I never used to do this. I, I always, I've mentioned this before in my attachment style videos that I have anxious attachment. And with anxious, uh, anxious attachment came a lot of things like my entire mood and happiness depended on other people and therefore I'd be devastated if something didn't go my way because it was that sense of control that I didn't, I can't control this person, I can't control the situation. The anxiety of that would drive me crazy and I'd be so on edge, I'd be so unhappy. And ever since I've learned how to detach and understand that this is great, but if it's not making me feel good at any moment, I know that I can walk away from this and still be fine. Detachment doesn't mean going cold. Detachment doesn't mean being a hater. Detachment doesn't mean war. Detachment doesn't mean closing off. Detachment is understanding that with or without this person, the situation, you will be fine, you will survive, and you are a complete whole self. This is just one chapter in your book. You still are on your journey, you're still doing what you're supposed to do and you're still on your life path. And this incident, person, obstacle was just, you know, a, a learning curve, something that's a part of your journey that you were supposed to go through for you to understand and realize things that you need to learn, things that you need to address, things that you need to heal. Um, and so it's another one of those things, character development. 
So understanding that and knowing that it doesn't mean that you're going to hate the person or go cold. It's just knowing that, you know what? I love you, but I love me more. And this isn't making me happy. And although I feel the way I do, is that heart versus head thing. With my heart, I'm with you. I want you. I want this to work. And as women, we are fixers. We're people who want to make things work. We don't give up. So this is where it gets even more complicated for women because we we don't want to be quitter. We want to give it our all and da da da. That's all well and good, but have a boundary, have a limit, and understand that I'm going to put an effort in to this extent. And after this, this is my boundary, and this is where my, where my self respect gets crossed. And after this. I need to understand that regardless of how I feel for this person, or no matter how much I want to make the situation work, it's not good for me. I don't feel good, I don't feel happy, I don't feel healthy, I'm constantly on edge, I'm constantly anxious. My day-to-day -day is miserable. And that's what I need to value and understand that this isn't like, this. it's not how it should be. So therefore, despite how I feel about you, my happiness and how I feel about myself comes first. And yes, it's going to hurt, but I've got the discipline and I've got the strength and I've got the groundedness and the stability to understand that once you leave my life, I'm still, I was living, breathing, kicking it before you and I will be doing the same thing after you. At the end of the day, this person is just another human being. Why on earth would you want to give that much power to this another person, to this human? Why on earth do you want to base so much of yourself, put all your eggs in one basket, especially when it's not reciprocated? If you're doing all of this for the wrong person, imagine all the things that you would do or you could do for someone who's right for you and is giving it back to you and who's making you feel safe without you searching for it, without you having to control them. So understand that this is just a part of it. You can, whatever you're going through is just your journey and you are fine before it, you will be fine after it. You got you. You don't need anyone else for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, please do subscribe to my page, like and comment on this, and I shall see you guys very soon. Thank you so much for watching.